Welcome back to this already, the final segment of today's Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Do you want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at the national news website, usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. i going to end the show with an interesting uh, segment on a company here that's here in Houston, iOfficeCorp.com. It's exactly like it sounds, the letter I, com. Elizabeth Dukes, she's the co-founder of iOffice and our guest today, and, and glad to have you on the program. How are you today? Great, Kevin. Thank you for having me. You bet. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, iOffice. Myself, I've been working in the facility management industry for 20-plus years as a vendor in corporate services, and iOffice is a software company that came out of m- mine and my co-founder's experience trying to deliver corporate services to large organizations. So we develop a, developed a software solution that basically helps the office operate. So when you come into the office and you've got coffee and lights and your microphones work and your computers work and you've got somebody to ask to help take care of that when they break, our software helps manage all that and be a front end to the workforce so you can request services. Okay. And how old is your company? We're 12 years old. 12 years 12 old. 12 years old. January 2nd, 2002. Man, that's incredible. Time flies when you're having fun. Yes, it does. Yeah. There's been a lot of lot of change over the past few years, but good. Good changes, and it sounds like it. And, and it, things have only become more dependent on technology since you began, more dependent on the cloud since you began. I mean, the cloud was kind of there, but now it's a, it's, it's a beast. And so, I mean, it, it's only, it's only, technology is only, and the changes in technology has only made a stronger case for what you do. I exactly. Assume. When we started, we were sort of revolutionary because we were leveraging the cloud, which was very hard to sell, convince companies that it was safe and secure. Obviously, that's totally changed. And it's only benefited the facility management side of the operation because they're able to manage multiple locations. As our organizations become more global and people are all over the world, they can manage all these locations and they can still interface with the workforce, which is so important because the workforce is mobile. They need to be able to interface with the workspace. They need to be able to request services. And by leveraging the cloud and through SaaS solutions, they can do that more effectively in real time. How large is your organization? Uh, we're about a seven and a half million dollar company. Uh, we have a thirteen hundred customers, predominantly in the U.S., uh, but we're growing rapidly. We have some in Asia, India, South America. Generally, there are organizations that have corporate headquarters in the U.S. and then have field and branch offices spread out all over the globe. And how many employees do you have? We have thirty. Thirty employees. Thirty employees. Uh, how many of them in Houston? All of them. No, we have a couple out and about. Um, We have our social media manager lives in San Francisco. We have a customer service manager that lives in Wisconsin. So we really embrace the concept that we talk about, that you can work anywhere and still be successful. And then we have a lot of developers that are all over the place as well. Tell me about the uh, size of businesses you work with. The best size to start with is about 100,000 square feet of space. So if you're operating in three or four floors that's of a building, end. that's the small end. That's kind of the starting point. So your businesses are all at least mid-market, if not enterprise-level companies. Exactly. And so they grow much larger than that. Millions of square feet all over the globe. Yeah. And, and both can take advantage. What we're seeing is a lot of smaller companies that are growing rapidly, Under Armour, Zillow, and they turned into companies really quickly, so they don't have all their infrastructure in place the way they want. So they're embracing the tools that we offer to help them go to the next level. Interesting. What would you say has been the uh, key to your growth? Well, I believe the SaaS offering has been very powerful. Um, I believe that our tool is very easy and intuitive, that's a big deal. There's a lot of solutions out there that are very complex, client side, difficult to implement, old school technology. And the, the consistent feedback I get from customers is this is really easy to use. It's very intuitive. It gives me the information I need real time. So I, th- I think that's been. Who in your organization or, or, or who in your client's organization would be overseeing your technology, the use of your technology? Well, it's the the facility manager, primarily right. director of real estate, administrative services. Um, those titles have changed as the workplace has changed. 
if you go to Google, I bet you don't have a facility manager. They're probably a workplace chief. There's or, something, there's something yeah. clever now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. more about the workspace. HR directors are now human capital. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's something <laughs> human creative. Human capital czars or whatever. It's getting, Whoever's we're getting clever now. You know, We want to feel better about our titles. Exactly. But yeah, yeah, I get, yeah, I get yeah, the idea. Yeah, I get yeah. the idea. And um, in terms of competitors, you guys probably were like the pioneers 12 years ago, I would assume. Yes, and actually I just went through an exercise with a consulting firm that focuses on our industry, IWMS, uh, Integrated Workplace Management Services, and we are still the only truly SaaS web-based application out there. But we do compete with others that are client-based and offer some web front-end, like FM Systems or Manhattan Software. There are some old-school uh, applications like Archibus or Tririga, who's now owned by IBM, we really don't go head to head with them a whole lot. We're more in that mid market where we're really flourishing. In the mid market, helping them become enterprise. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Very cool. Very cool. So, 2014 has been a good year. Yes, it's been it's been so exciting. Yes, we've already met our our goals for the year revenue wise on revenue growth. Wow, that's yes. what you call a good situation. Not even yes. a good problem. That's just a good situation. It's very and, exciting. Uh, continue to grow. What uh, what part of the country are you most prominent? Or are you just uh, are you so geographically agnostic? We are it? completely geographically agnostic. Um, we're really horizontal uh, in terms of industry location. Everybody has a facility they have to run. Yeah. In some form or fashion, though that's changing, and everybody is not necessarily coming to the office. Their workforce may be spread out in different spots. They still have to be able to engage the workforce and provide resources and services. Does your uh, product, does your software, or your program, rather, it's not software, it's all on the cloud. Does your program require uh, C-level buy-in? Or, or is, you know, is it that- doesn't require it. Um, it would be great if leadership said, this is the direction our company is going to go. It really is important for the, the people that are using it to get buy-in because they're the ones um, having to execute and but I, I'm assuming that if you had C level uh, interested in it, uh, they would probably help that. Uh, yes, process. absolutely. Or, or even aware if they were even aware of what you were doing, it would exactly. help, help that. Exactly. But it's not required. Not required. Not Very required. Good. All right, iofficecorp.com. It's just like it sounds. And uh, enjoyed spending my time with one of the founders of this, Elizabeth Dukes. She's executive vice president and chief marketing officer. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Kevin. I enjoyed it. You bet. Have a good one. You bet. And uh, when we come back tomorrow, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdatareview.com. While they're liking on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Have a great day and spend it right here.